plane wave expansion method PWE refers to a computational technique in electromagnetics to solve the Maxwell's equations by formulating an eigenvalue problem out of the equation. This method is popular among the photonic crystal community as a method of solving for the band structure dispersion relation of specific photonic crystal geometries. PWE is traceable to the analytical formulations, and is useful in calculating modal solutions of Maxwell's equations over an inhomogeneous or periodic geometry. It is specifically tuned to solve problems in a time harmonic forms, with non-dispersive media. Principle plane waves are solutions to the homogeneous Helmholtz equation, and form a basis to represent fields in the periodic media. PWE as applied to photonic crystals as described is primarily sourced From Dr. Danner's tutorial, the electric or magnetic fields are expanded for each field component in terms of the Fourier series components along the reciprocal lattice vector. Similarly, the dielectric permittivity, which is periodic along reciprocal lattice vector for photonic crystals, is also expanded through Fourier series components. 1 E R equals M equals minus infinity plus infinity K M E R E minus I G R Display style FRAC one Epsilon underscore R equals sum underscore M equals in AFT carrot plus in AFT K underscore M carrot Epsilon underscore R E carrot I VEC G VEC R E Omega R equals N equals minus infinity plus infinity K N E Y E minus I G R E Minus I K R display style e omega vec r equals sum underscore n equals in aft caret plus in aft k underscore n caret e underscore y e caret i vec g vec r e caret i vec k vec r with the Fourier series coefficients being the k numbers subscripted by m, n respectively, and the reciprocal lattice vector given by g g. In real modeling, the range of components considered will be reduced to just plus or minus n m a x display style pmnmax instead of the ideal infinite wave using these expansions in any of the curl curl relations like 1 er times times e r Omega 
equals omega c 2 e r omega Display style FRAC one Epsilon VEC R Nabla times Nabla times E VEC R Omega equals left FRAC Omega C right carrot two E VEC R Omega and simplifying under assumptions of a source-free, linear, and non-dispersive region we obtain the eigenvalue relations which can be solved. Topic. Example for 1D case For a Y polarized Z propagating electric wave, incident on a 1D dBr periodic in only Z direction and homogeneous along X, Y, with a lattice period of A. We then have the following simplified relations 1 E R equals M equals Minus infinity plus infinity k m e r e minus i two pi m a z Display style FRAC one Epsilon underscore R equals sum underscore M equals in T carrot plus in T K underscore M carrot Epsilon underscore R E carrot I FRAC two Pi M A Z E Omega R equals N equals minus infinity plus infinity K N E Y E minus I two Pi N A Z E minus I K R Display style E Omega VEC R equals sum underscore N equals in a T carrot plus in a T K underscore N carrot E underscore Y E carrot I F R A C two Pi N A Z E carrot I VEC K VEC R the constitutive eigen equation we finally have to solve becomes n 2 pi n a plus k z 2 pi m a plus K Z K M minus N E R K N E Y equals Omega two C two K M E Y 
Display style sum underscore n left frac two pi n a plus k underscore z right left frac two pi m a plus k underscore z right k underscore m n carrot epsilon underscore r k underscore n carrot e underscore y equals frac omega carrot 2 c carrot 2 k underscore m carrot e underscore y this can be solved by building a matrix for the terms in the left hand side and finding its eigenvalue and vectors the eigenvalues correspond to the modal solutions, while the corresponding magnetic or electric fields themselves can be plotted using the Fourier expansions. The coefficients of the field harmonics are obtained from the specific eigenvectors. The resulting band structure obtained through the eigenmodes of this structure are shown to the right. Topic example code We can use the following code in MATLAB or GNU Octave to compute the same band structure. Percent percent solve the DBR photonic band structure for a simple percent 1D DBR. Air spacing D, periodicity A, i.e., a greater than D, percent we assume an infinite stack of 1D alternating eps underscore R, air layers percent Y polarized, Z directed plane wave incident on the stack percent periodic in the Z direction, percent percent parameters D equals 8, percent air gap equals 10, percent total periodicity D underscore over underscore equals D, A, eps underscore R equals 12.2500, percent dielectric constant, like gallium 3 arsenide, percent max Fs coas for representing E field, and Eps R, R MMAX equals 50, percent Q matrix is non-symmetric in this case, Qij, equals Qji percent Qmn equals 2 pi n plus Kz, squared asterisk Kmn percent Kn equals delta underscore n, Eps underscore R plus 1 to 1, Eps underscore R, D, A, sink, pi, N, D, A, percent here N runs from MMAX to plus MMAX, freaks equals, for KZ equals pi, A, pi, 10 asterisk A, plus pi, AQ equals zeros, 2 asterisk MMAX plus 1, for X equals 1 to 2 asterisk MMAX plus 1 for Y equals equals 1 to 2 asterisk mmax plus 1 x equals x mmax y equals y mmax k n equals 1 to 1 eps underscore r asterisk d underscore over underscore a asterisk sink x y asterisk d underscore over underscore a plus x y equals equals 0 asterisk 1 eps underscore r q x y equals 2 pi y 1 a plus k z squared asterisk k n percent mmax end end f printf k z equals percent g n k z omega underscore c equals e i g q omega underscore c equals sort s q r t omega underscore c percent important step freaks equals freaks omega underscore c end close figure hold on idx equals 1 for idx equals 1 length pi a pi 10 asterisk a plus pi a plot pi a pi 10 asterisk a plus pi a freaks idx end hold off X label K Z Y label Omega C 
title sprintf pbg of 1 ddbr with d a equals percent g epsr equals percent g d a eps underscore r topic advantages PWE expansions are rigorous solutions. PWE is extremely well suited to the modal solution problem. Large size problems can be solved using iterative techniques like conjugate gradient method. For both generalized and normal eigenvalue problems, just a few band index plots in the band structure diagrams are required, usually lying on the Brillouin zone edges. This corresponds to eigenmode solutions using iterative techniques, as opposed to diagonalization of the entire matrix. The PWEM is highly efficient for calculating modes in periodic dielectric structures. Being a Fourier space method, it suffers from the Gibbs phenomenon and slow convergence in some configuration when fast Fourier factorization is not used. It is the method of choice for calculating the band structure of photonic crystals. It is not easy to understand at first, but it is easy to implement. Topic: Disadvantages sometimes spurious modes appear. Large problems scaled as O n3 with the number of the plane waves n used in the problem. This is both time-consuming and complex in memory requirements. Alternatives include order n spectral method, and methods using finite difference time domain which are simpler, and model transients. If implemented correctly, spurious solutions are avoided. It is less efficient when index contrast is high or when metals are incorporated. It cannot be used for scattering analysis. Being a Fourier space method, Gibbs phenomenon affects the method's accuracy. This is particularly problematic for devices with high dielectric contrast. Topic. See also Photonic crystal Computational electromagnetics Finite difference time domain method Finite element method Maxwell's equations See Chapter 5 in Design and Optimization of Nano-Optical Elements by Coupling Fabrication to Optical Behavior Plane Wave Expansion Method See and listen to Lectures 17 and 18 M-Lab Poster on PWEM <laughs>